The show will begin momentarily. Everyone, please stay in your seats. Looks like something bad happened. I guess you forgot about me. Want to see the scooping room? I will find a way out. Admit it. You wanted to let me in. I could hear you. Breathing. Don't be shy. Why do you hide inside these walls? These are strange circumstances that have brought us together. Well, hello again! <laughs> are you ready for round two? Hey, boy, boy! Go get him! Get ready for a surprise! Boy, boy, let's not keep on from waiting! Knock, knock! Anybody home? What a party pooper! It seems you wouldn't make it to my show, so I brought the show to you! Show times are on the hour, not a moment before and not a moment later! It's time to take your final bow! I'm sorry, but there's never enough room on this stage for both of us! A performance was demanded of me, and now I have delivered! Encore! My friend, you have met a terrible, terrible demise. But, uh, you know what? I, I don't feel too bad about it. After all, if, if it weren't for me, it would have just been from someone else, you know? I guess what I'm trying to say is life, life goes on. Well, well for, for everyone else, life goes on, not, not for you. Uh, you're dead. That's neither here nor there. It reminds me of one summer day in the park. I was having just a delightful picnic with my good friend Orville. And I said to him, I said, Orville, I, I have a story. And he said to me, What's the significance of the story? And, and I said to him, oh, Orville, not every story has to have significance, you know. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes a story is just a story. You try to read into every little thing and find meaning in everything anyone says. You just drive yourself crazy. I had a friend do it once. Wasn't pretty. We talked about it for years. And not only that, but you'll likely end up believing something you shouldn't believe. Thinking something you shouldn't think. Or, or assuming something you shouldn't assume. You know? Sometimes I said a uh, story is just a story, so just be quiet for one second if your life and eat your sandwich, okay? Of course, it was only then I realized I made sandwiches, and poor Orville was having such difficulty eating it. Elephants have those clumsy hands, you know? Actually, I suppose that's the problem. They don't have hands at all, do they? They're, they're all feet, and I couldn't imagine someone asking me to eat a sandwich on my feet. Now, if I recall correctly, there was a bakery nearby. I said to him, Orville, let me go get you some rye bread. Now, I'm not sure if elephants enjoy rye bread, but I assure you that Orville does. Now, this was on a Tuesday, which was good because rye bread was always fresh on Tuesday. They made sourdough bread on Monday and threw it out Wednesday. Or rather, they sold it at a discount for people wanting to feed the ducks, and then, probably at the end of the day, finally they threw it all out. I, I don't recall. I do remember a man who would bring his son to the bakery every Wednesday, and then go feed the ducks. He would buy all the sourdough bread. Of course, you know, you're not supposed to feed the ducks sourdough bread at all. It swells up in their stomach, and then they all die. At, uh, at, least, at least that's what I've heard. You know, I, I never saw any ducks die myself, but I did notice a substantial decrease in the duck population in the course of a few years. I just never thought to stop the man and tell him that he was killing the ducks by feeding them sourdough bread. If you want my opinion on the matter, <laughs> and I told over this as well, 
If you want to feed ducks, or birds, or any kind for that matter, it's best to buy seed. I mean, what do you think about it? Breads of any sort don't occur in nature. They don't grow on trees or spring up from the bushes. I don't think birds know what to do with bread. What was I saying? Oh, oh yes, yes. So I bought Orville some rye bread. What a fine day it was.